So here's a, a nice way that I like to remember how the whole process of translation and transcription works in your body. So we know that um, it starts off in the nucleus with the DNA strand here, and that transcription happens between taking a copy of the portion of DNA that you want to replicate, and then it goes into the into the ribosome, where then uh, translation occurs, and this is the, the new strand that you're using. But sometimes it can be hard to remember um, this whole process, so I have a, a little analogy um, to help remember. So this is the nucleus. Let's pretend that this is the library. I wrote the library here because the library has lots of information, just like DNA has lots of information. Um, so I'm going to call the DNA here maybe a book that you want to get some information from. Now let's pretend this is a cookbook. You don't want to if you want to make if you want to build um, let's say you want to make a cake or something, you don't need the whole all the information in the entire cookbook. You just need a certain um, a certain recipe. So you're going to take a portion of the book. Uh, maybe the certain page that you need for the recipe for the cake and make a copy of it. So you're making a copy of it for you to bring home while the real book um, actually stays in the library and does not leave in the same way that the DNA does not leave the nucleus but the copy is one that leaves. So this is the copy leaving the leaving the library or leaving the nucleus to go back to the person's house in the kitchen where they're going to be baking the cake. Now the copy here is call, also called the mRNA, which stands for messenger RNA, because you're sending that message or the, uh, the recipe for what you need to be building. Now, from there, it goes to the ribosome, which I have called the kitchen, because this is where protein synthesis happens or where you're building the protein. And in the case of the analogy, this is where the cake is going to be built or cooked. <laughs> so here you have the recipe here, which is the mRNA strand, which is the copy that you made. And now what's going to happen is tRNA, or transfer RNA, is going to have to bring the amino acids um, that are needed, or the ingredients needed for the cake, to build it. And so based off the sequence here, the GAU, CGA, the transfer RNA knows exactly what ingredients he needs to bring to make this recipe. So I like to call the transfer RNA the good husband who goes to the grocery store and gets the ingredients that the wife needs to bake the cake. So if he sees a guanine, he knows that he needs to bring um, the corresponding um, ingredients. And so on this page, it tells you um, how, how it knows. So if it has a cytosine in the recipe, he knows he has to go get a guanine. If there's a thymine in the recipe, he knows he has to go get an adenine, and so forth. And so this is just a cute little way of remembering how the transcription and translation process works. The copying process here is called the transcription. And then the process of um, putting the corresponding amino acids on the messenger RNA strand is called the translation, which translation means to convert one thing to another. Just like if you're translating Spanish into English, you're translating the copy um, into a new DNA strand. So you're going to be converting the copy into something new. So it's just like translation. And that is it.